Hi everyone, I'm Amy. Today's workout is going to be Rise and Shine Ab Workout. All you will need is yourself, a mat, and if you have some resistance, I'm gonna use my 15 pound dumbbell. Everything will be done on our back. And here we go. Also, please comment below. I would love to get your feedback, and if you have any requests for any other type of workouts, let me know, and I will do my best to deliver. Subscribe if you liked um, the video. And this is a great thing because it's only 15 minutes, and who doesn't have 15 minutes? So here we go. You're gonna lay on your back, and you can do this workout even without a dumbbell, okay? I just chose to have a little bit of resistance on my core today. So you're gonna lay on your back. Each and every one of these reps, make sure you are engaged in your midsection and you are pushing your back into your mat. Very, very important. Also, you wanna hold tightly onto your dumbbell if you are using a dumbbell. So you're gonna start in a ball. Your feet are going to be in point. So right away, I am engaged in my core. Everything also will be very slow. You're going to come out, pausing on the out, pausing on the in. Just really focus on your midsection. So if you are working with resistance, I really feel this also in my arms and my, especially my triceps. If you are feeling any discomfort in your back, when you bring your legs out, don't have your calves as low to the ground. If you angle up, you won't feel it in your, in your low back, as long as you're engaging. Six more from here. Slow. Three more. I love doing my ab training slow. And I think our abs love it too. They love attention. So the next move, I'm gonna actually hold my dumbbell differently. I'm gonna have my hands like this, you're gonna go straddle. So you're gonna start with the dumbbell. If you are using a dumbbell above your head, your legs are straddled, which means very open, as wide as your mat, you're still gonna be in point, and you're gonna raise the arms up and the legs up. Go especially slow on the down, pushing the spine into the mat. If you need to touch your heels, please do so on the down. If not, just have them hovering, or like I said, if you feel that you've got some discomfort in your lower back, don't drop your legs as low. And if you do have to have a bend in your knees, that's okay too. Engage, flex, tighten your midsection. Six more. Three more. Engage, stay focused. One more. Be 
beautiful work. We're gonna do opposite knee in to straight leg out. So the leg that is bent, starting with the right knee, that's where the dumbbell, if you are doing a dumbbell, is gonna go over the top of your right knee. Then we will also, we're gonna stay on right knee, meaning the dumbbell's directing over it. And then we will switch to the left. Once again, as a reminder, engage and push the spine down into the mat. Two more. So now you're gonna go over the left knee. So you're gonna start here. I can already guarantee you that I will have a tender tummy later, and especially tomorrow. I know some people say, oh, I don't feel sore until the second day. I, use, I always feel sore the day, later in the day, and then for surely the next day. Two more. This next move, if it's too challenging to do a hips up, don't do the hips up, it's okay. I'm gonna hold the dumbbell like I did the last two moves. So your feet are gonna, my feet are gonna be flexed, so please flex your feet. So you're gonna come up with, your legs are zipped up together very tight. You're gonna come up and then you're gonna do a hips up. If it's too much jarring on the back, just don't do the hips up. Remember, slow. Five more, slow and controlled. Focus on your form. Two more. Beautiful work. Okay, dumbbell. If you are using a dumbbell, you're gonna hold it like this now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into a V-sit. You're gonna go side to side, side to side with your dumbbell in V-sit, and then you're gonna come back down and then raise back up again. So I will show you what I mean. Remember, core is tight, neutral neck. Also, please do your best to not put it into your neck. So you're gonna roll up, focal point, one, two, three, four, and then come down. That's, what the, that's the drill right there. So we're gonna do six rounds of that. We're gonna do it a little bit slower than what, slower than what I just showed you. Okay, here we go.
There's halfway, three more rounds. Engage the core. Last one. Nice work. Over and under with your arms. Let's rest our arms a second and actually also stretch them out. We're gonna go back up into a V-sit, but do straddle legs, which mean opening up what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll up. I'm gonna to count to five, holding the dumbbell up like this in V-sit. We're gonna roll back down. We're gonna do four rounds. So I'm gonna show you actually what one looks like first. So you're here, and then you raise it up for a five second hold, and then we're gonna come back down for four rounds. Okay, core tight, and find a focal point for balance on the up. Ooh. Okay, here goes. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Five. Last one. One, two, three, four, five. Nice work. Let's go over and under with our arms again. Okay, one more move. You're going to go back up into V sit. One knee is going to be bent. One knee is going to be straight. The dumbbell is going to be over the bent knee. So I will show you again what this is going to look like. Let's start with the right knee bent. Go up into V-sit. The hold is here. And do your best to get your big, your toe on your right foot, the big toe, right flush with the inner part of your left shin. You're going to be right here for a five-second hold. We're going to do each side four rounds. All right, ready? And lift. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Last round. One, two, three, four, five. Stretch the arms out. We're going to go to left knee bend. Last move. Tell yourself, who doesn't have 15 minutes in their day to give their tummy some loving? Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. A lot of focus on this workout. I'm like sweating bullets. One, two, three, four, five. Two more. Come on, stay focused, guys. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Nice work. Let's do downward dog, pedal it out, and do your best to get your heels down to the mat. 
And if you can't, it's okay. All of a sudden, one day, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I got my heels to the mat. Pushing evenly into both of your palms. All right, let's do four more. This is one, two, three, four. Drop down onto your tummy. We're going to do cobra. Your hands are by your upper ribs, forehead down to the mat, tops of your feet pushing down into your mat. Keep your arms really close to your side and you're going to open up. It's gonna be a great stretch for our midsection. Be gentle. And slowly come down. One more stretch. Zip up your legs. We're actually going to get off of our wrist, chin to chest, round your spine, your bum. Try to make it heavy so you can get your bum to your heels. Breathe through it. So like I said, core, I always have always said it just needs attention. So many times we can get so crazy and quick and rushed in our workouts. A lot of times we don't even, we neglect our midsection. And that's why I really wanted to do this video because 15 minutes, we all have 15 minutes. And you don't have to use the dumbbell either. So if you don't have the heavy dumbbell or heavier dumbbell, it's okay. So look at this beautiful, sun I don't know about you guys but the sun always makes me so much more live alive inside so remember the light starts within if you're shining within even on a cloudy day you'll make a difference within yourself and the world and please like I said comment below and I will see you really soon and have a wonderful wonderful self-care day bye-bye